everybody, welcome back. Check it out, MGW. That's right, guys. Went for the best of the best. Um, I also sprung for the flat stick with the custom setup here. Blue car, blue shifter, black ball, black windows. Should work, right? I think it's a pretty good match, to tell you the truth. Pretty close. It's gonna dress up the interior a little bit. Should be cool. Interior is all black on black. So now we're going to have a sweet shifter knob in there. Pretty stoked about that. Um, yeah, so here's what it looks like. I mean, this thing is beautiful. This is all the stuff you get. So there's the rear mount, the bolts for that, Loctite. You get these Dynamat. I'm not sure where that goes. The video I watched doesn't show that on MGW site. So to figure that out. So info on the ball and stuff. I went for this ball with that stick just thought it looked kind of cool should should jive with my car pretty good you got a tool for that and uh, yeah this is pretty hefty it's a stout apparently this is the best so I said what the heck buy once cry once right guys so let's get to the install so basically we're going to from what I've seen in the video we're gonna take the shift knob off we're gonna open this, there's a couple screws, and then this whole top piece will come off and we can get um, to the top of the shifter boot there. Now that we got the cover off here, um, mine had some custom stuff. So mine had a USB plug in it and a uh, remote adjustment for the subwoofer. And the handle on my shifter kind of fell off. I'm pretty sure someone broke that before. Probably have to glue that. Anyway, whatever. So now we got to here. So now we'll pull this rubber or this sound deadening out. And then we got to get this rubber boot pried out of there. I'm not sure exactly why you got to take this whole cover off. Maybe it's easier to get the new shifter in without damaging it. Because um, it looks like it might be kind of fun to fit back in that hole. But um, that's my guess. Anyway. All right. So it wasn't bad. This you just kind of peel the front back and weasel it out and this boot you just grab it and pull really hard it comes right out too i did just realize i never really showed the throw on the stock setup um, i didn't think it was bad but it was definitely long um, not what you'd call short and uh, after driving a buddy carl's car with the mgw you could tell there's a heck of a difference but you know first second third fourth fifth Lots of wobble. You can see the range. Once I get the other one installed, we'll do the same. Um, I believe it's a little bit adjustable on the other one too. But yeah, you can see when it's in gear, it's wobbly. Stock shifter is just a sloppy mess, but we're gonna fix that today, boys and girls. Tools you're gonna need. The video I watched said I need these things. It also said that the shifter came with an Allen wrench, but mine did not, and maybe it's for a different style of knob or shifter. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, because the one in the video for my car doesn't quite look the same as this, so I'll have to check MGW's site for more information. But anyway, it says you need a 10 and an 18 sockets. Um, a 13 ratcheting wrench and a 10 ratcheting wrench and a long extension 3 8 drive Phillips screwdriver okay guys down underneath here you need your 10 mil and other stuff sorry this thing's gonna get all flipped around here but um, so the 10 mil on a super long extension you're gonna get these two bolts here that hold up the rear mount one on each side very easy to take off um, then you got to go up front here and there's a bolt that goes in that holds this. I took it out already, but holds the front mount in. Got that out. That one was kind of fun. Um, it says to use a ratcheting box end. I did not. I just used the open end and kind of got it loose. And then I could reach up in there by hand. Um, I did lower these some. They don't seem to go as low as the um, guy in MGW's video says they'd go. So we'll see if that's a problem. I'll put a jack under it and take these bolts out totally and really lower it. But I'm trying not to if I don't have to. Uh, anyways, next step is taking this rear support off the back of the shifter. And then once that's out, 
We're gonna go up top and try to squeak the shifter out. This is rubber pieces on there pretty good. I'm gonna need both hands to do it, but uh, yeah. After I get that piece off the back, we'll go up top, pull the shifter out. Yeah, I forgot one bolt here. You got that one goes through the shifter. You can see, anyways, that's where the other 13 is. Um, there's a nut on this side. You'll put, take the nut off with the 13 mil and then push the shifter linkage out this side. So now we can take it out the top. There's the shop stock shifter out. It was kind of fun to weasel it around. So what I did is I got underneath the car, pulled that arm to the side of the transmission and down so it would get at a good angle. Then you do got to kind of fiddle around up in the car, but the key is to get this here up through the hole and then you can kind of go far enough forward to squeak this back through. I was about ready to cut that thing apart. But anyway, don't need that. Don't need that. Now, go about reversing the process. So now we've got to try to fish that thing down in there and go from there. So, let's get it. So the guy in the MGW video makes that look so easy but it is not i lowered my tranny bolts mounts a little bit more um they're only in there a couple threads they're really not much but i did get it in there i taped up the gold here because you keep working it you're gonna scratch your shifter there's there's nothing you can do about that i just tried to maybe not scratch it as much so I mean, you're rubbing it on this metal hole, which is not big enough. And I don't know, it's kind of fun. Anyways, we got that done. It's in there. So now we're gonna go underneath, put the bolt in the front, put the mount in the back, and then put the uh, shifter bolt back in. But you gotta adjust that thing in or out. You can crank it all the way in and then crank it out. I can't remember how much, but uh, I'll tell you once we get to that point. But this was the fun part. Shifter's in place, show you what we got going on here. So there you can see the rear mount is on, the um, stainless plate and whatever it says on the video goes to the back. It also claims that it came with washers and other things to go on these little nuts here, but my kit did not. I've got the front bolt started up here. Um, the lock washer goes on the outside. Well, it's not started yet, but I'm gonna get it started next. But um, lock washer goes on the outside. I put Loctite on that bolt. It says you can put Loctite on those also. I might grab some washers of my own perhaps to put in there since they didn't supply any. And then you gotta adjust that linkage before, or adjust that thing before you put your linkage on it. Okay, now you have to set the, you have to set that thing. So you have to screw it clockwise all the way in um, I would suggest doing this before you install the shifter because it was a pain in the butt down here. Some parts of the thread don't turn real easy. So crank it all the way in clockwise, back it out. The video shows about four turns. And then you got to end with that arrow pointing to the driver's side. So that's what I did. It came to about three and a half turns or so for me. I don't know. It says not to do more than 10. We'll see what happens. I'll put the shift rod in there and uh, give it a test feel on how I like it. Cause it's adjustable. So you can do, you see up there it says, so you got adjustable throw, but that's what the video showed me. All right guys, I got my trunk button in. I put it down in here. If you're interested in one of those for yours, um, I couldn't think of a better place to put it. So I just stuck it in there for now. So you can always change it later. So now I've got the shifter in all the sound deadening in the rubber boot i'm going to go ahead and put the console back on so just going to fit it down in the front and pop it on hook up the connections for my stuff and then we'll put the shifter boot on okay we got the console back on now we're going to i'm going to put the shifter on here so we got that upside down so i put the nut on first then you're going to put the so okay washer lock washer i'm pretty sure there's no instructions in the video they send you to doesn't tell you i put this little rubber piece on here because i'm pretty sure that's where that's got to go but um you could probably put this on after okay so trying to do this one-handed so we'll get this screwed way down in there
So we'll get that stick. Pretty, I think it needs to go straight forward and back, right? I'll get it squared up. And then I grabbed a wrench for that, which seemed to be about 19 millimeter. And I'll snug that up. I got to use both hands. Okay, so we got that snugged up. Okay, well, now for the boot. So what I did is I took this little rubber piece. I tried fitting it on there first and then pulling this onto it, but no, put it on here first and then put this boot in place. Then you can kind of push that thing down to where it's got to go because trying to feed it into there goes into a notch. Oh, there it is, I'll bring it up. There it is, that's in place just like that. Now it will take our sweet ball. So I got the lock ring thing all the way down. Put the ball on. Bring that all the way down. And then I'll bring it up to here. And then I will use the supplied tool that fits into here to tighten those two together. Okay, and done. Looks good. I dig the contrast. My car's blue with black. So is my shifter. It feels so good. So much better. So there you go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the links down below in the description if there is any, if you're interested in anything. And uh, let me know what you think. Is there something you could have done different? Did I help you with some tips? Love to hear back from you. So make sure you stay tuned for more S197 Mustang content in the future, as well as other random reviews and videos. So... Appreciate you guys all stopping by. We'll catch you on the next one. But, you know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Lots of wobble. You can see the range. tighter when it's in the gears. Way better. Stoked. Plus that look, guys. Love it.